Have you been fucked in the last three weeks? No. Whoa! I'm actually, Yo. get this off Yo. me now. I'm done. Yeah. No, I'm actually fucking done. Get this no, off me. I haven't had sex with anyone. I'm literally celibate. I fucking hate this thing. Get me, no, no. get it off me now. Oh I'm so dead ass, bro. I haven't had sex with anyone. This is pissing me the fuck off. You actually see me cry. Get this off me, bro. Oh my god, fuck. Either get this off me or keep I, asking me questions. No, no, take it off, 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 take it off. No, keep going. No. I'm just fucking mad at you oh because this is a fucking lie. Oh, shit. Fuck. Ask me who I've had sex with. Like, no, I haven't no, no, had sex no, no, with anybody. Keep going. No, uh, keep going. You want to go harder? You want to make me. We interrupt this program to prescribe you with a thousand milligrams of red vitamins. Right here, right here. Right now, right now. It's the right time. Right time, right time. It's the right time. Right now, right now. Right now, right now. Right now, right now. Tell the whole pie down, pie down. Pie down, pie down. Pie down, pie down. Pie down, pie down. Tell the nigga pie down, pie down. Pie down, pie down. Pie down, pie down. What's good, Shadow Realm? It's your boy Reclaim the Throne coming at you with another crazy video. But first, my goal is to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe. And you already know, Reclaim Your Throne. Valentine, have you been fucked in the last three weeks? No. Whoa! I'm actually. Yo, get this off yo. me now. I'm done. Yeah. No, I'm actually fucking done. Get this no, off no, me. I haven't had sex with anyone. I'm literally celibate. I fucking hate this thing. Get me. No, no. Get it off me now. Oh I'm so dead ass, bro. I haven't had sex with anyone. This is pissing me the fuck off. You actually see me cry. Get this off me, bro. Oh my god, fuck. Either get this off me or I... keep asking me questions. No, no, take it off, take it off, take it off, take it off, take it off. No, keep going. No. I'm just fucking mad at you oh because my... this is a fucking lie. Oh shit. Fuck. Ask me who I've had sex with. Like no, I haven't no, no, had sex no, no, with anybody. I, 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 keep going. No, uh, keep going. You want to go hard or you want to make me cry? Keep going. Have you been fucked in the last three weeks? <laughs> All right, guys, so this clip is a video of Neon and Sneeko giving Neon's girlfriend, I believe her name is Sarah, and she's the OnlyFans girl, a lie detector test, and she obviously fails, and he asked if she had intercourse with anybody within the last three weeks, and she said no. The lie detector determined that she was not telling the truth, and I believe the lie detector test, okay? I have no reason to believe this woman. She is an OF creator, so it only makes sense that she's doing BG scenes or BJ scenes or IR scenes. Yeah, I know the lingo. <laughs> y'all think y'all slick with them abbreviations? <laughs> nah, we done caught on me. So, uh, you know, she, she, she's working, all right? And she is promoting her OF content, and I'm telling you right now, I'm not calling her a bad bitch because she's very basic, but uh, uh, even a basic bitch don't go six months without the D. So this is the modern, this is the modern woman's dating strategy. She obviously has latched on to Neon, and there was a whole interview with her and Fresh and Fit going back and forth, and and, and um, and you know. They were basically calling her out saying, oh, you're on OF. This guy's Muslim. He's a virgin. You're trying to take advantage of him. You're clout chasing, whatnot. And Neon done cuffed her up. Now he is saying this is his girlfriend. And here's the thing. I think he's being strategic with this. I think he is using this to promote himself, promote his career, whatnot. Um, and I, I mean, I'm sure he has love for the girl, whatnot. But I know that he doesn't see himself marrying her. So... Guys, what you have to understand is, um, you know, we talk about intercourse workers and OF girls and Instagram models and whatnot. And I always told you guys that modern women have the digital footprint of an adult film actress. And any woman with over 100,000 uh, followers on Instagram is indeed selling the WAP unless she has a visible LinkedIn, visible business, um, you know, that you can reference and say, hey, okay, they're giving deliverables here. They, they're actually making money. They're actually um, bringing in revenue. They're actually, you know, doing something. Um, they have expenses. They, you know, I'm not saying you can go and audit them, but uh, you, it, it's very visible when you have a company that is actually, you know, churning its wheels. So with that being said, <clears throat> we all know this, and it's going to be a lot of women who have the digital footprint of an adult film actress. That doesn't mean you can't date them. That doesn't mean that you can't, you know, cuff them for the appearance 
But what it does mean is you should not marry them. You should not take them seriously. And if you do, that is what makes you a simp. Like being arm in arm, I'm not really mad at that, honestly. Like a lot of guys will tell you, oh, don't take a picture with that bitch. Oh, don't do this with that bitch. Oh, why are you taking her out on a date with that bitch? And it's just like, bro, <laughs> if you want to fuck bad bitches, a lot of the bad bitches are going to... I mean, the reality is a lot of them are going to have a digital footprint of an adult film actress. And I, I mean, I, I, I genuinely don't know one bad bitch who doesn't have an adult fi a, a digital footprint of an adult film actress. If she's really bad, I might know one or two, but I, you really don't see that nowadays. If she's really bad now, a lot of you guys are going to say, well, I know one and she she doesn't have the, adult, adult, the digital footprint of an adult film actress. And then you're going to show me a picture of her and I'm going to tell you that bitch is ugly as fuck. OK, see, we're not doing this thing where y'all are just bringing these ugly ass, you know, chicks and, and trying to say that they're bad. We're not doing that. You're, we're not bringing these fat ass hoes and you're going to tell me that this is a bad bitch. No, we're not doing that. OK, so. So what I'm saying is. The modern woman, yes, they might have the digital footprint of a dolphin actress. It doesn't mean you can't date her. It doesn't mean you can't have love for the bitch. I'm not telling you not to have love for her. I'm telling you not to be head over heels in love with these women who have the digital, digital footprint of a dolphin actress. And, you know, I mean, y'all, at, at the end of the day, y'all gonna be using each other, use each other for the, for the right reasons and keep it moving. But do not, do not put a ring on it. That's all I'm saying. I don't mind if you date the girl. I don't mind if you spend time with her. Go steady with her six months. You know, hell, go steady with her six years. But do not get married to her if she has the digital footprint of an adult film actress. That's literally all I'm asking. And you and don't cohabitate either, um, because you're gonna take that L. Block Myron. Block Myron? Yeah, I'm good. No. Block him. I thought you just come back, yo. You're. Block Myron. Huh? Block Myron. No. There's no reason you should be friends with him. No. There's no reason you should be friends with him. You know that. Okay. I'm sorry. I can't. Why? He's Cause. in your ear all the time saying bad stuff about me. I don't want you to talk to him or be friends with him anymore. No. What? what? No. Block him. No. Okay, guys. So I've got to stop it there because the OF chick, the woman who has the digital footprint of an adult film actress is telling Neon to block Myron Gaines, okay? Um, one of the uh, fantastic duo of the Fresh and Fit podcast. And, you know, if you guys have seen the video with Neon, Sarah, and Myron and Fresh, um, or if you haven't seen it, rather, then you should go check that out because it's a really good video and it shows you how these modern women trying to manipulate unexperienced guys because this is a lot of you guys all right um you know the uh, the uh <clears throat> the average man the man between 18 and 21 the average man is pretty much a virgin okay the majority of men rather are a virgin i think it's 54 percent of men between the ages of 18 and 21 are a virgin can the women of that age group say the same absolutely not so we all know that most men are not getting laid and these are most men so most of most men you guys who are watching my channel um, some of you are having success, but a lot of you are not and this could be you where you ru run into an attractive girl relatively attractive girl We ain't gonna call her ugly. She ain't like some super bad bitch, but she's not ugly She's a beautiful young lady and I could see how a virgin man would fall for her and You know neon is standing his ground. He understands that there's more fish in the sea, especially with his level of stardom and he's not letting it ride, all right? He's not letting her manipulate him. He's not letting her persuade him or dissuade him away from Myron. And I think it's good that he's uh, standing his ground. I mean, you have, I mean, if you're going to be in a relationship with a, a woman who has the digital footprint of a adult film actress, you got to be 100% in control, okay? Point blank. Otherwise, it ain't going to work. Why? No. Do you care about his opinion? No. So then why are you friends with him? Because he's a cool guy. No, he's not. He's not. He's not a cool guy at all. And, I mean, I've met Myron Gaines in person. I can attest he is a cool guy. Uh, put me on game to some YouTube shit. Um, I mean, he, he's congruent in his philosophy. I mean, he you get what you... He tells you who he is, and you get 
what you pay for, basically. But I mean, he's a straight, he's a stand-up guy. Um, you know, a great host, hospitality. I, I mean, I don't. I, she's just mad because she's getting called out for her promiscuity. Oh. I'm not blocking him. You're just a cloud chaser if you don't block him. How am I a clout chaser to someone who, what are you saying? Yeah, and I think what he was going to say is how am I a clout chaser to someone who has less subscribers than me? And, I, and this is not a diss, but I, I, I think Neon has like 1.6 on YouTube. I, I don't remember how much Fresh and Fit. I know they hit a million, but I don't know if they have 1.6. But Neon, I mean, he, he shot up real quick. I don't even know how. He's just some nerd Indian dude, but he shot up real quick. In the algorithm, um, even though guys like me been putting in hella work, thousands of videos, actually providing value. I'm not saying he's not providing value, but <clears throat> he's not. Uh, uh, anyway, excuse me. Um, but, <laughs> you know, guys like us get stifled, but guys like him who just do like jerk off shit and, you know, scream at cameras. I mean, I guess it's entertaining for little kids, but they're the ones who get promoted in the algorithm because it, they just want kids to be stupid. And I'm actually putting people on game. So. You know, respect to him, and he does have more followers on YouTube or subscribers on YouTube, but um, Fresh and Fit, you know, they're very diversified. They're cross-platform, so um, uh, the conglomerate of their following are on different platforms, so I'm thinking if you combine all of them, they might have more. I I'm, I'm not here to play the numbers game, the social blade game here. I'm just here to say he's not clout chasing. They're just good guys, and, and women don't understand how men like Neon, who's nerdy, you know, um, more or less aggressive, less assertive. We saw how he got pressed by those black men and they put him on his ass and he didn't do nothing. He didn't try nothing. He didn't do anything. Um, and he just let it ride. So we see that this guy, he's not going to defend himself. Uh, he's, he's pretty much a pussy. And women don't see how this guy who, yes, he is Islam, but he also, let's keep it a buck. He's he, he he's more progressive, more ideologically left, and, and and he's a softy. He's a male feminist. You know what I'm saying? Even though he's Islam, he claims to be Islamic. I'm look the way he moves. He's a male feminist, especially dating an OnlyFans chick. I mean, a a, a true follower of Islam is not gonna date no OnlyFans chick. So, uh, and I'm not trying to say that he ain't on his dean, but <clears throat> he ain't on his dean. But that's not for me to you know. That's not for me to say. But um, what I will say though is, is women like her can't understand why softies like Neon can be friends with guys like Myron and Fresh. Women like her don't understand it because they don't really understand men. We don't have to have something super in common to be friends. I have to like the guy, and if he likes me back, then we're good. All right, that that's pretty much it. If we have. You know, if we got stuff that we can just chat up to and joke uh, joke on each other with and, and and clown each other on, then and nobody takes it personally, then you're my friend. It doesn't matter if we, you know, uh, Neon likes playing video games and Myron doesn't play video games, so we can't be friends. That's not how men work. Sorry. You're bipolar. Block him. You were just crying 30 seconds Block ago. Block him. I'm dead ass. No! <laughs> you think I'm kidding? Yo, you're like crazy. <laughs> I can't. Oh my god. Fuck him. No! <laughs> fuck him. Literally, like, I'm just, I'm being loud because it's funny how you won't block him, even though he's the only person. How about I block you? About. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm, oh my you god. You wanna block me? <laughs> Yo, she's fucking crazy, bro. What is wrong with you? He probably should block her so he doesn't see her naked pictures online. I'm just being dead ass. No, 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 I can't. Block I can't. Him. I can't. Block Myron. Now. You, you can have your phone back. No, block Myron. I'm God. No. He's not a good. He's not a good person to be around. If he's always in your. I'm not around account. him. I did like two streams of him. He's a good guy. How could you say that when all he does is talk badly about me? You didn't stand up for me against him, so block him. Hey, is your phone already getting spammed? Block him. I can't even think I'm being stupid. Like I'm being dead ass. Block him now. No. <laughs> no. Okay. Bye. I just don't like being disrespected all the time, and that's what you have to do. So I'm good. Wait.
Hold on. What do you want? <laughs> I can't, bro. It's, it's like I'm in a fucking movie. What? Yeah, and there you have it. I mean, he stood his ground, so shout out to Neon. I, I think that he's being strategic with this relationship. I'm sure he got love for her. I mean, how could you not? You're spending a lot of time with the girl. I mean, she's cool. I'm not saying that these OF chicks can't be cool or nothing like that. I'm just saying do not marry them. That's literally all I'm saying. I'm not saying you can't fuck them. I'm not saying you can't chill with them. I'm not saying you can't be friends or whatever. Just do not marry them and definitely don't be letting them tell you, oh, who you can and can't be friends with and trying to dictate your life. Uh, when you choose that lifestyle, ma'am, if you're going to get in a relationship, you have no leverage. <laughs> You really don't. But anyways, you already know what it is, man. It's your boy Reclaiming Throne. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Send your relationship request to the email down below or the screenshot of your cash app so I know you're paying your tithes, man. Y'all need to be on your more freaking name with the BS. You already know. Reclaim your throne. Want to become an elite level athlete? Well, look no further. The Reclaim Your Throne Elite D1 training course is all you need to take your performance from subpar to the creme de la creme of athletes all around the world. The purpose of this course is to give you a comprehensive weight training, speed, flexibility, recovery, and endurance program that is meant to prepare young athletes for collegiate and professional sports. This course is packed with over two hours of creative, action-packed lifts narrated and coached by yours truly to assure increased strength, speed, flexibility, recovery, and endurance. Hey, I get it. Training alone can be tough and can even make you feel misguided or somewhat unmotivated. But with this course, I walk you step by step through each and every lift to make sure you're using the proper form to prevent injuries and that you're hitting the correct muscle groups to render maximum results. So what are you waiting for? It's now or never. So go ahead and get the training course today so you too can reclaim your throne.